community. It is I, Brad, coming to you from right here. Uh, kind of interesting. Sorry, I'm listening to some cool music. I got some cool things to show you, though, guys. Uh, I am done with cartridge raises. That right there is why I'm done with cartridge raises. Those are all the corrected ingrown hairs that I had taken care of at a local barber today. And it was pretty painful, I have to say. Um, but I am shaving now much better. Uh, because, 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 because of the wonderful things I does. No, because I have this here and a bunch of other things like it. These, what is this, you might say? It's a leather pouch. This is how I'm shaving now. You just kind of grind. No, I'm kidding. I have double edge safety razors. This is the MR6B by Maggard Razors. $20, $19.95 for this guy, and it shaves as well as, if not better, than some of my $80 to $100 razors that I have sitting in my bathroom. I also have the MR MR18, uh, which is really nice, nice silver thing. Uh, good weight to them, nice. Uh, the MR6B is a little bit heavier, uh, but it is a heavy weight handle. And then this is the uh, Parker, um, really nice, the Parker Travel, which is cool. So you take one part of the handle out of its sleeve, screw it into the other side. There's your handle, okay? And then you pull out your head, right there. Well, one of the problems I have with this head is the threading on it is not good. And I have to correct the threading. I'm going to take some lapping comp compound to it, but it does in the head here uh, get cross threaded, so I have to lap that a little bit, I think. Make a stronger lead, lead thread. But it's a nice razor. Not quite as long as the Magards. There you go, a nice little comparison there of the two. Um, but shaves really nice. They've shaved with all three of these. The um, two Magards are very similar to Edwin Jaeger. Not very aggressive. Nice medium uh, uh, shave. Uh, when I do go uh, in this way, though, on these hairs, uh, they do tend to snag. But then again, my neck, I've tried everything, even electric razors destroy my neck in regards to comfort. So I got a thousand different blades and things that I'm going to try out. Which brings me to the next point of this. Um, so if you think about these three, uh, I have links down below on where you can find them from Magard Razors. Uh, they have some good prices and some great deals going on. And Brad and uh, Casey, I think is her name, Maggard, um, in Adrian, Michigan, are uh, doing a fantastic job at supplying the shaving world with some really great products, and I think it's a good company that you guys should check out. So, the Parker, a very cool little travel-sized razor, can fit right in your brushed pocket. So, for blades, I have Gillette 7 o'clock, Sharp Edge. Made in Pulkovskoye Shaza, Shoza, St. Petersburg. Okay, I have uh, a very well known the Derby, Derby Extras, and these are very, uh, come highly, very highly recommended by a lot of people uh, in the shaving community, if you will. The Gillette 7 o'clock, kind of an interesting thing. Also made in Russia. Uh, Big Ben, super stainless blades. Also, that are made by Lord. And guess what I have? I have a pack of Lords for ten uh, blades in a pack. Nice thick package there. Totally worthwhile. And by the way, I paid no more than a buck ninety-two for a package of blades. I actually paid a buck ninety-two for this, the Gillette Silver Blues, which are uh, considered to be a standard blade. 
uh, along with the Darbys, the Lords, the Big Bens, uh, also uh, Gillette Super Thins. The Gillette Super Thins. Yes, that's right, folks. The Gillette Super Thins. And I also have a very aggressive and very high power blade, the uh, Feather High Stainless. These are platinum coated and they are made in Japan. Yeah, doesn't really say anything interesting on the back of it, uh, but these are very aggressive blades. Um, I'm excited to shave with them because um, I want to see how it takes care of this, so we'll shave with them in a little bit. But yeah, some cool stuff coming from Magard Razors. Uh, for this whole kit, for the three razors and everything, I paid between 70 and 80 bucks um, out of pocket with uh, free shipping. So uh, definitely worthwhile. Check them out. I will have some links below here if YouTube decides to upload this. But yeah, guys, I'm uh, doing some good stuff. I have another order in with Magard Razors for um, some more things. So I'm going to go through these uh, these blades and see how they, how they treat me. Um, and these razors. I've got a bunch of razors coming in as well. Some old Gillettes. Let's see what I got coming in here. Uh, going into Ebasky. Ebasky it. The Evil Bay. Uh, my eBay. I'll tell you exactly what I have coming here. Who was that lady? That bad there we go finally so I have coming in uh, some barbicide in a barbicide jar so I can um, disinfect my razors I have a 1959 Gillette fat boy razor coming in it is an adjustable. I have a, a Gillette adjustable L1 from 1966 in really nice condition. A Gillette Slim adjustable. I have a Gillette New Standard Open Tooth safety razor. And this thing is really quite pretty. Um, I know you can't see it, unfortunately. Um, sorry about that. But um, it is very nice. And I will be sure to show that when it comes in. Yeah, uh, it's silver plated. It's absolutely gorgeous. Has a beautiful knurled design uh, on the handle in this sort of diamond pattern, broken diamond pattern. It comes with a set of uh, Gillette blades in its original case. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, really a gorgeous razor. And I also have coming in a Christmas holiday 1940s Gillette Aristocrat gold plated with the Gillette Thin Razors in its original case from the, about the 1940s. So, kind of excited. That stuff's all on its way, along with a couple more razors from Magard Razors, some more, some more um, razors themselves, not the blades, and some uh, shaving things. Uh, I can go through what I've got coming in. Let's go to Magog Razos. I have Proraso Shaving Cream, Menthol Eucalyptus, because I love menthol and eucalyptus. It's just one of my favorite things. I've been shaving with the Noxema Red Cam for years, and it's just what I'm used to. Um, pre and Post Cream by Proraso in the same uh, menthol eucalyptus. A Simpsons Commodore X2 Best Badger Shaving Brush. Nice little shaving brush. Pre-Shave Oil uh, from Magard Razors, the five... Uh, oil samples, uh, the five cents, their oil samples. Um, Musco Real uh, Glycerin Lime Oil Pre Shave Soap in Lavender. Musco Real uh, Glycerin Lime Oil Pre Shave Soap in Oak Moss scent and Classic scent. Razor Rock Alum Stick, uh, an MR3 thick handle chrome from Magard Razors, and an, a MR6. Uh, which is the other guy to this one here. So the MR6 and just chrome. So got that coming in. And what's nice about the uh, Magard razors is they cost under 30 bucks. I mean, can't beat that. So if you want to, uh, you know, increase your collection a little bit there, 
Um, definitely go check out Magard Razors. So anything over $75, I think, ships free from their website. So, hell yeah, uh, totally. And Brad and Casey both are very knowledgeable. They do a lot of really awesome um, work with doing uh, restorations and things, and they can definitely suggest. And I would suggest also, like, down below, Badger and Blade, a really nice forum for those of you who are into wet shaving. So, folks, that about wraps it up. Um, I can say, oh, two blades I did not tell you that I had. Um, I have both Astra blades, the stainless and the uh, platinum. I did shave with the platinum. It is a nice, it's, it's a nice blade. And I paid 64 cents for it from Magard Razors. Um, granted, you could probably find it elsewhere for less or more. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I've just only done business with Magard because they have been just incredible with getting back to me and their communication is just fantastic but I am going to be buying from the other vendors because I need I want to give everyone a chance to show me that they also have really great customer service so I'm definitely going to be ordering from other people um, I just put a lot of things in with them I also have some barbicide coming in um, with a barbicide jar so I can disinfect my razors I think I said that maybe um, I've got a couple razor stands coming in uh, what else do I have? I also have uh, from uh, Metal Works or Metal Polish um, some polishing and some cleaning for, and it's safe for really all metals, gold and uh, chrome plated, platinum pr uh, plated, everything. Uh, so some cool things coming in so I can really work on my collection here. So uh, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Hey, it's been a lot of fun and uh, as I always say, uh, for shaving, shave sharp. Oh, a couple tips. I wanted to give you guys a couple tips. Uh, though I am new in the shaving land and world, um, I can highly recommend uh, using single blade razors. Get yourself, uh, and I'll put a link below of what I would suggest as a good starter kit, but it would be one Magard razors razor itself, a couple packs of blades so you can try different blades, okay, and I'll put some links. I'll, I'll actually make a list with a link to Magard razors down below, and also a good soap like Parasso and a brush. Uh, you don't want to use uh, from a can. And here's why. When we shave dry or slightly moist, okay, what happens is it tugs and yanks the skin and it causes a lot of irritation. But, you know, there are a lot of, like, badger and blade, you'll get a lot of information like that. But I'll put the list down below of what I would think would be a good way to start you guys out. And definitely do your own research. Ladies and gentlemen, shave sharp.